grand rising, y'all. Uh, just got up not too long ago. Um, feeling pretty good. I'm just right now rolling out my feet and getting myself ready for the first practice. And I'm excited, man. I don't know what to expect. Um, I'm very open to seeing all my teammates, uh, my head coach, um, meeting all the staff, going through the practice and just learning and adapting and being around with all my teammates and you guys will get to see all my teammates and hang around with them and seeing us interact with as a team. So I got to rock out the Friday the 13th, you feel me? So got to be somebody nightmare. <laughs> I wonder how my team's gonna react to me and how I'm gonna react to my team today. Um, yesterday was a great day, man, and it's very ironic. If you guys tapped into my eating show, I talk about uh, chasing your dreams and how I got so far by doing that. And the reason why I done it so got so far with it because I took six months out of myself to understand what I really wanted to do. And my love was football. And it was always been football because I had something else to prove. And I had I still had what it takes to be great. You get what I mean? So I think that what keeps me motivated and keep me going and keep me going hard. Um, during those six months of that time, I I flew out to Paris. I flew out to Paris to do a football training and an opportunity that I couldn't pass up, you know? I met this coach, Coach Marinali. Um, he was in Georgia. So I built a relationship with him, knowing the fact that he was gonna be the head coach for the Paris football team. And shout out to him, by the way. Um, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be in this predicament. Everything happened for a reason. You get what I mean? And if it wasn't for him to put me in that moment, because it wasn't all roses. I'm going to be real with you guys. Um, I'm going to just take you back. The time being when... I got my ticket a week or two weeks before the time being of my tryout. And two days before he called me and he literally told me, hey, I'm like terribly sorry for wasting your time. And um, I don't want you to come out here and not get a fair shot and get signed. And I took it upon myself and said, you know what? Bump that. I'm coming out there to showcase my talent. I'm not going to take a no for an answer because if you haven't seen me play, and I believe that's my art, you get what I mean? And if you haven't seen me play, don't count me out yet. So when I got there, it was a 10-hour flight. I'm sorry, eight hour flight. I had to wait at uh, Detroit for about 10 hours because I was there from seven in the morning and I had to wait till like eight o'clock in the nighttime to literally to go out there. And I just made it happen. And I, ha I was there a day before my tryout and I was supposed to have a jet lag and I did everything in my power to be great you get what I mean? And it was a great journey. It was a beautiful journey, man. And I went there, um, be the first one there, greet myself to everybody, regardless when I, my trial didn't start until 2 p.m. And I would just want to soak in every moment. I would visualize myself being there, playing for the team and showing that the coach that I am accountable to be the person that I was going to be. 
and he could I could be a leader for that team. Long story short, um, I told him I wanted to do two tryouts. So my primary my primary uh, position was running back, and I was transitioned to be a receiver, and. I dominate both tryouts and unfortunately he couldn't take me because he already had signed to Americans and that's the rules when you're playing overseas. You know what I mean? So um, during that time, um, I did really well. Me and him had a heart to heart. I left everything on the field, y'all. Literally left everything on the field. And he's like, um, you coming out here, show me who you really are as a character. And it's really a humbling experience because I couldn't even imagine myself doing something like that. And I just took a leap of faith of going out there and doing what I wanted to do and not do what I love to do. So I just want to let you guys know that whatever you want to do in life, it doesn't matter how long it takes you. It doesn't matter the age. As long as you get there, just pace yourself and you will always win. The tea got me clean. Yes, sir. I love it. I love it. A little mini breakfast right now for myself. Um, something light I can take. I don't want to say take, but eat something really nice and light. And I can just have something for the field, uh, fuel for the field, so I can have some great energies and. It ain't gonna be nothing too crazy, y'all. So I'm gonna show y'all very soon when I'm there. Definitely, if you haven't taken a look at my eating show, go ahead and subscribe to that bad boy. I just destroy these bloody oranges. Um, we will definitely chop it up, talk about my experience in the out of the country, and also talk about what's going on with my life. I am getting ready to go to training. My teammate's about 10 minutes away right now. I'm about to go ahead and put on my shirt, my hoodie, and it's pretty damn cold. So I am not trying to be cold. You dig? Um, yeah, I'm gonna make sure I got everything ready. Uh, I have my new cleats for my, my teammate too as well that I wanna go give to him. And also I want to literally have my cleats that I want to break in and have my practice cleats as well. So I can't wait y'all. I'm excited and I'm ready to lock and load and do my damn thing. You feel me? Y'all wish me luck. I'm heading downstairs to meet with my teammates right now and get ready for training. We have finally made it. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of pretty freezing out here. I'm not even gonna front with you. I might wanna be like, uh, <laughs> sitting here and acting like it's not cold and be macho man, but it's cold. But when you start moving, you, you'll start being like warm. It's a little wrong, but guess what? 
Oh, the motherfucker, bro. Hack him about it. Everybody in it. Uh, flat down the line. Yeah! First training was great. It was hella cold, man. So it was like kind of like snowing a little bit, but it's it was a good practice. This is what we're talking about. We finished the day strong. And not only did I see so much great talent in Czech Republic, man, I, I was impressed, very impressed with what I see at training today. Um, today was a great day. It was a great day for me and my team and the coaches. And I, I'm just proud to say that all the work that I put in and seeing my team put as much work on the plays and everything else, it's it's beautiful, man. Like, I can't believe that football is so much popular in the international overseas like that. You get what I mean? So I want to applaud my team itself. Um, the work that they put in, there's a lot of talent, like I said, and man, Y'all will see, man. On the first game, you guys will see. But I'm going to go ahead and eat. And if you guys haven't tuned in to my actual eating show, go ahead and check out Eat with Patrick Blackwood. Subscribe on that thing, man. Share it with your peoples and like it. And save, too. It's important to save because I might drop you some jewels at the same time. That thing will pressure. I need that, y'all. But I want to say thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, man. Um, like I said, you guys will travel the world with me, with me and my teammates and my coaches. And also, definitely tap into my eating show as well. Um, I will be dropping some pics on Instagram. And I will be dropping it at the end of this video if you guys stay tuned to this video. Um, I want to say thank you guys for being here with me and I'll see you guys tomorrow.